So let's take a look at our Jersey Square team and see what they've done with channels. By the time they've gotten to this part in the canvas, they've actually recognized that besides working on channels, they actually have two distinct customer segments, sport jersey owners and single game attendees. And just if you remember, by the time you understand you have multiple segments, that means you need multiple value propositions and multiple revenue streams. And you might also have multiple channels and customer relationships, but at least this at this point, and they're thinking the only thing that matches the channels are the value prop and revenue streams. And so let's see what they've learned about the channels. In getting out of the building, they understood that both segments, the sports jersey owners and the single game attendees, really like the idea of going to their website and actually being able to buy or rent a jersey. But their hypotheses that stadium shop owners and vendors would be a channel and or a partner early on turned out to be incorrect. In talking to those two channels, they discovered that they viewed Jersey Square as a potential competitor. And they also understood the sales cycle of selling to them as a channel uh, was going to be a lot longer than they had uh, to start up their company. And so they kind of put this off the list for now, and they might get back to this later. They also started looking at direct mail and realized that direct mail was nothing more than a potential customer acquisition activity rather than a channel itself. So that just left them with a direct website and potentially ticket websites. And remember, your goal as a startup is not to make the longest list of potential channels, but in fact to narrow down what is it you're going to be focusing on in your early days.